everybody, it's Adele. Welcome to my channel, Sofa Serenity. I hope you all had an absolutely fantastic Christmas and I'm looking forward to New Year celebrations. So this week's Hashtag Friday Sews is going to be a little bit different. As I said in my last video, um, probably not like the, like a lot of you, had not had a lot of time for sewing over the last couple of days. So um, I have done some, but not a lot. And mostly cutting out, which I'll talk about. And um, But I wanted to share with you a couple of Christmas gifts that I've got and also my Make 9 plans so first of all i'll start with what i'm wearing it's not a me made i'm afraid it's just um a ready to wear leopard print jumpsuit that's just really comfy and snuggly um which i thought i'd put on today because i'm having a bit of a lazy day um so um i have managed to do a little bit of um sewing this week um related stuff mostly cutting out um the two, three things that I've cut out this week is the Marlow top out of this material that I talked about, this faces material that I got from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn. Um, I was going to make the Marlow blouse with it, which was a pattern from Seamworks, and I'll insert a picture just to jog your memory. The other thing that I cut out was I cut out a frayer, two frayers, from Tilly and the Buttons stretch. I cut out the Freya top version in, in this dotty jersey, which is a Ponty Roma actually. Um, so yeah, in that lovely spotty. Again, that was from Rainbow Fabrics. Um, I got a meter of that. And then also I have cut out in this blue Ponty Roma, which is electric blue. I cut out a Freya dress. So yeah, I'm excited to see what the Freya dress looks like. And I'm thinking of putting the ruffle on it, but um, I'll insert a picture of what the ruffle looks like, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I'm gonna cut it out and have a look at it, pin it on and see what I think. A bit apprehensive about ruining it. So um, let me know in the comments if any of you have put the ruffle on the Freya dress or not. I haven't seen that many. Um, so yeah, they're the things that I've managed to cut out this week. Um, I have, I did have a bit of a sewing session yesterday um, where I managed to sew up the Freya top in the black. So I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's got a bit of makeup on it. Um, I will insert a picture of me wearing it. I haven't um, put it on yet because it was fresh off the press yesterday. So yeah, that was a really lovely sew. This Ponty Roma is really really nice to sew with um it's less um slippery than um, the normal jersey so my other frayer top that i did in the sewing material was a little bit more slippery and moved around but this was really good for a beginner um on jersey and i did this on my sewing machine um with the lightning zigzag stitch which i really like um it's really like neat and um, I haven't finished the insides yet. I'm planning on getting some black overlocker thread for my overlocker. Um, so I'll finish the seams and everything then because I don't really like having unfinished seams even though the knit doesn't fray. So yeah, that's that. Um, I haven't sewed up the fray address yet. That is on the list of things to do. Um, I might try and get that done before I go away to Centre Parks for New Year, but I don't know if I will or not. And then the Marlow, I have started my Marlow shirt, if you can see that. So I haven't put the buttons on yet. So I've made the actual bodice. I've just got the sleeve cuffs to um, sew on. Um, I've got a hem to put on and I've also got to do the buttons. But actually it's really, really nice sew. And the great thing about the seam works is there's a tutor, there's a sew along as well that you have access to. So, um, I can't, oh, it was the facing. I was a little bit confused about um, one of the instructions around the facing. Um, so I just watched the tutorial and they break the tutorial down into the different sections. So you don't have to watch the whole thing. I just watched the part about the um, inserting the facing um, and it really, really helped. It's really, really lovely. Oh, that's my marks for the buttons, which will, the pen that I use is a pen that you mark the markings on and then with a damp cloth, it just comes off afterwards. Um, 
I was a bit apprehensive about using it on white, but it does work. So yeah, I'll insert a picture of that. So that's coming along. Again, not sure I'll get that finished this side of New Year with us going away. So yeah, so there are my bits of sewing related tasks that I've done um, this week. And yeah, I got a couple of lovely gifts um, and I'll get those for you. The first one, you'll probably recognise it, is from Guthrie and Garney. So for those of you who don't know, Lauren, who runs Guthrie and Garney, was on, I'm not sure which season it was, was on the sewing bee. Um, and she's actually launched a shop in um, Birmingham called Guthrie and Garney, which sells absolutely gorgeous fabrics. On the on the pricier side, it's good quality um, fabrics. And they also do some sewing classes um, and they do a sew sewing society, which is basically you sign up for free to the sewing society. And then on the first of the month, they release um, a kit, a sewing kit. And you have the choice of um, different materials and they select a pattern. There's a couple of different options of the materials. And then um, Lauren also does a sew along um, with hints and tips. And you get everything in the kit that you need for um, to make the um, garment, which is absolutely great. And they've done loads of different things. Um, the Ilford jacket's on there, the Thea jacket, um, trousers. Um, the most recent one um, was the Lyra dress in this gorgeous, um, there was a denim choice and then a pattern choice and it was really lovely. Um, I think they re released the Lyra dress and then they also released a bag as well that, that month, last month. And as a, a, a sewing society member, you get um, like first first refusal on the item. So you get it, you get notified and get access to the website um, 12 hours I think before everybody else does because some of the kits really do sell out some of the kits on there are still available to buy but a lot of them do sell out so I obviously mentioned this and somebody one of my family members got me this lovely kit and when you open it you get a little thank you card from Guthrie and Garney and it says happy sewing from Lauren um, and then you get this make to measure card, which is lovely. You can put all your um, measurement details on there, what material you'll use, etc. And, and keep that um, for next time, which is handy. And then there's a little hand note here about who picked it. And again, it just says, enjoy your kit, which is lovely. And it comes in this lovely package the material with a Guthrie and Garney sticker on it and they actually I've got the sew over it Ava skirt which I'll insert a picture and they actually print the pattern on A0 for you um, I think you do have, to have, have access to the PDFs as well so if you want to print it out you can in you get a little bag here as well with everything you need for the kit. So I've got um, some clasps there, which is obviously how you join the kit. It's not a concealed, it's not an invisible zip. Yay, it's actually a zip that you can see on the back. So yeah, the zip's really gorgeous um, because that will be exposed. So I'm excited to put in a zip that isn't invisible. You get the Guthrie and Garney that looks lovely under the light. Guthrie and Garney, um, Guthrie, sorry, you get the Gutterman thread um, that matches the material. And then you also get this cute little made by me with G and G, which I think is really lovely. So you get that little label to put in as well. So that's everything that you get. So you get everything that you need for the make. And then the material. I've got this lovely leopard print cord in a mustard absolutely beautiful so I can't wait to make that I'm probably gonna save this because this material is really um not a cheap material and um I don't want to um kind of risk making any mistakes while I'm a new sewer so 
couple of options. I might make the Ava skirt in some cheaper cord that I've got and see how that goes. And then once I know how to know that I'm, you know, I know what I'm doing with that, I'll then use this lovely um, mustard Guthrie and Garning um, cord. Or I might just wait a few months just to see. You get the um, interfacing that you need and you also get the lining material as well. I think that's for the pockets maybe. So yeah, that's a really lovely kit. And um, I think it was, I did look, I think it was £49.50 for that one. Obviously, depending on what the pattern is, will depend how pricey it is. Um, but this one was £49.50. So yeah, check it out if you haven't already. Um, it's a nice gift for yourself or for somebody else. And um, the other thing they also do is tell you the level for the different items. So if you're a beginner, you can make sure you're just looking at beginner kits or if you're ready to move on to the next level, I think there's intermediate as well. Um, so, yeah, that's really lovely. The other thing that I got was, um, I don't know if everyone's heard of this, is a pack from a company called So Ab Fab. So this company is um, a company that, again, makes dressmaking kits. Um, they release one every single month. Um, a new one every single month and you can buy all the existing kits on there. They also do some men's um, patterns as well. And again, it's very, very similar to the Guthrie and Garni. You get everything that you need in the kit. There's a couple of different fabric options for each item. Um, and they also do children's, <clears throat> excuse me, they also do children's um, designs as well. So if you wanted to do some children's clothes, you can buy the kits for those. So this was absolutely lovely when I opened it. So in this one, you get this little leaflet from the Sew Ab Fab team that basically um, welcomes you, explains about your pattern, gives you tips for how to cut out. Um, it gives you instructions about the material. So it'll tell you um, special washing um recommendations on it um and yeah it's really lovely so the actual pattern that i've got is the assembly line high cuff sweater and you can see that it's absolutely gorgeous it's um the reason it's it's the front it's got the straight cuff and in the back it's got like a rise on the cuff um, and that's what gives it that lovely shape at the back, which is like a, fem a feminine shape. It's also got the skill level, which is very easy, which is right up my street. So that's really nice. Um, and the patterns, obviously, the printed out pattern all in there for me to trace off or cut out. And then in there you get your with your fabric so the this actual um shirt uh, sorry jumper i've never actually seen before it's a mixture between knit and woven so the actual material for the actual um top part of it is actually a woven and the pattern that i've got is this beautiful it's a viscose linen which i've never sewn with before i mean how beautiful is that I'll insert a picture from the website. It's got a lovely drape to it as well. And I think that is just going to be so beautiful. I mean, it's not, again, it's not a material, it's not a pattern necessarily or a material that I would have chosen myself. But it's absolutely beautiful. And I think because it's navy, it will go in the winter and, in, and because it's got the floral, it'll be lovely in the summer as well. And then obviously the cuffs and the bottom waistband is in a stretch um, ribbing, which you get in there as well. So yeah, that's a really interesting combination, which I'd never seen before. So you also get everything that you need in the kit as well. You actually get the needles. So I've got some stretch needles there. And it comes in this little lovely little bag. You get the matching gutter and thread as well. And then you also get a lovely little label which says 
this one says sewn with love which is absolutely gorgeous and then you also get obviously you get a little thank you card from the sew ab fab team and it's caroline that runs the sew ab fab team and then you also get this gorgeous little packet with a little note that says enjoy a cup of tea whilst reading your sewing instructions and in there is a little tea pigs tea drink and this one is energy tea and it basically says to to drink while you're reading your instructions which i thought that was a really lovely little touch so yeah this one was 48 pounds 50. again it depends what kit you're buying will um determine the price um they've got jackets on there they've got the wilder gown on there and um, they've got they've got lots of different things on there they've got the ash jeans on there get everything that you need in the ash jeans so yeah all really really good and i think when i look at doing jeans which won't be this year well sorry won't be next year that's probably for my 2023 makes um i probably will look at doing a kit so you get everything that you need and you get the support of sew alongs etc because um i think that's just um really comforting to know that you've got that there and if you get stuck you can you can watch the different parts of the sew along to make sure that you're doing everything right so yeah they're the lovely sewing gifts that i got which i'm really excited i'm probably gonna sew this sew ab fab one up um quite soon with it being a woven and a, and a jersey um, so, sorry woven in a knit um i'm really keen to get that kind of put on and um sewn in it and as it's a very easy i feel confident enough to do that so that will hopefully be in a, in a very current friday sews so yeah so that's what i got for christmas among other things obviously i had my overlocker for christmas but i actually had that before christmas <laughs> which was a bit naughty of me Okay, so now I want to talk about my Make 9 challenge for 2022. So for those of you who don't know, the Make 9 challenge is a challenge that's on Instagram. It's been very popular over the last couple of years. And it's basically where you choose nine patterns or nine makes that you really want to make over the next 12 months. And it doesn't have to be an actual pattern specific. It can just be an item that you want to make. So if you really want to make a coat or you really want to make a pair of pants, um, so I'm being American, trousers, then um, you can use that as one of your make nines and choose a pattern later on or have a series of patterns that you might want to choose from for, for that make nine. Um, you also don't just have to make make those nine things these are things that you definitely want to tick off your list but you obviously will make things throughout the year as new patterns come out or you get new fabrics or or inspiration or or you just need something so yeah so um i've chosen my make nine and it was really difficult to well in some ways it was really easy because there were some ones that i really wanted to do and i knew were in there and then there was a couple that I couldn't decide between but I've, I'm happy with my um, make nine um, choices for the year and I will um, just move over a little bit and I'll insert a picture of um, the make nine grid that I've done. So I'm going to start in the top corner and the first one you might recognise is the Tilly and the Buttons Eden jacket which is um, you can make it in a in a, um, a a coating material like a wool coating but I really want to make the um, anorak version of it so there's a lot of, of people that have made this that I follow so 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 Jess at so what if I sew and also Helen at um, stitch rip repeat has made this this jacket and um, Helen's was really interesting because she used a soft shell which um, if you're not familiar it's waterproof on the outside and then on the inside it's got like a soft a soft fleecy kind of soft material on the inside so she didn't actually line hers and she used bias binding to finish the um seams which was really really nice and it was a really lovely finish um she um did it in a really gorgeous raindrop effect um and a wrap uh, waterproof material because it was really really nice um and then jess that so what if i sew made a jacket for herself and i think she made one for her sister as well um and you know it's not an easy sew um 
and it's something that I think will be a project that you know you pick up and put down and, and probably will go throughout the year so I'm really keen to make that one I think that'll be really, really lovely. And I really want to use a really cool lining and a really um, out there kind of outer material. So I'm looking forward to choosing that fabric for that. So that's the Eden jacket. The next one along on the top row is the Sirocco um, jumpsuit for knit fabrics by Deer and Doe. So I, this jumpsuit just looks really comfy. Um, it's got pockets um, it's got a mock um, wrap at the front and I was really inspired by Liz the Baker that sews recently made one out of the um, November luxury box so Hayley Jane jersey that um, she made it out of this lovely um, little Johnny jersey um, and it actually looked really, really lovely. So I really want to make that, probably not in that fabric, um, probably more in a plain fabric. Um, but yeah, I thought it looked really, really lovely. It's really flattering, really comfy, love the pockets. Um, so yeah, that's one that I definitely want to make up this year. And I think it's one that once you make it once, once you've got your pattern sorted and your fit right, you'll you could you'll make quite a few of those. So that's the other one that I want to make. So moving on to the bottom bottom row now. Um, the next one is by Named Company, and that is the Kilo Wrap Dress. And this is absolutely beautiful. This Kilo Wrap Dress and the pattern actually you can do it in a jumpsuit or the dress with or without the sleeves so there's lots of different options i think i want to make this option with the long sleeves um and i have actually got the fabric that i want to make this in which i'll just show you bear with me i got this from itch and itch stitch and ink sorry okay my words mixed up stitch and inch, inch fabrics um and it's this lovely jersey leopard print it's so soft I think I got three meters or no yeah two and a half or three meters of this and it's in a lovely like um oatmeal-y caramel -y color and I think that will just look lovely in a wrap dress um I'm a love leopard print if you don't know that already and um I'm just it, I'm like a moth to a flame when I see it and um I always was with ready to made always was with ready to made clothes as well um so I'm no different when it comes to fabric if I see a leopard print material I just I'm like a moth to a flame as I say so yeah so that's that's definitely going to be my kilo wrap dress I haven't got the pattern yet I haven't got the Eden pattern I haven't got the deer and doe Sirocco jumpsuit pattern yet and actually with all of these things on my list I haven't got the pattern so that's something that obviously will be a barrier <laughs> to actually making some of these items but I'm hopeful that I will uh be able to get some of those over the next couple of months so the next item that I want to make is the Oslo coat by Tasuti. Oh, sorry, that's my alarm. So yeah, the Oslo dress by Tasuti. I I really really want to make a coat um, this year. Might be too challenging for me, but I really want to try and do it. So I really love this Tasuti Oslo pattern. It's got raglan sleeves. It's got quite a um, relaxed, uh, baggier fit. So I don't think I'll have too many worries with like fitting issues on it. And it just looks really cozy. It's fully lined as well. Um, so yeah, that will be a challenge, but I have done things with linings before. So I feel like it'll be okay. And it's not a super difficult, I don't think it's a super difficult pattern either. I think it, um, I'm not sure, but I'll check. I think it isn't, I'm not sure it's a beginner's pattern, but it's definitely not like a, you have to be really, really skilled to do it. And I feel like with sewing, you just need to give it a go and try. So I actually have got the material for this, which I got from Pound Fabrics. So I think it was £3.50 a metre. So if I do go wrong, it doesn't really matter. Um, but the fabric is this coating fabric in this dog tooth in a turquoise and black. And I just think that would make the most gorgeous, gorgeous 
winter coat and it'd probably be a one that I'll make for next winter and uh, so yeah £3.49 a metre for this and I've got three metres the pattern actually takes two and a half metres um, so I'm glad I got the three and then I've also got this contrasting anti-static lining material to go inside I thought that'd be lovely and that was £1.50 a metre from Pound Fabrics so all in all if it goes wrong it didn't cost me that much money but I think, yeah, I'm really excited to make that one. And um, it'd be really lovely to have that as a winter coat for next year. So that's that. The next pattern is the Yanta Overalls by Helen's Closet. Um, again, inspired a lot by Liz the Baker that sews. Um, she makes these Yanta Overalls all the time. And she looks fabulous in them. Um, she makes them in cord um, and that's what I'm going to do. I shared on a previous vlog some really bargain cord that I got in a khaki and a cream from Pound Fabrics. So I'm probably going to do it in the green actually. It's like an, um, yeah, it's like a khaki, a really dark khaki green. So I'm probably going to make those Yanta overalls in that cord because it's got some stretch in it. And then also um, you can make it in like a linen as well. So um that's something that I'd like to do maybe for the summer. Um, and they're basically quite, quite a relaxed fit. Um, so again, not too, hopefully not too many fitting issues, maybe around the crotch might be. And maybe, um, and I think this and the Sirocco um, will be that transition into trousers, which I haven't done yet. Um, yeah, because that's I'm a little bit apprehensive is the word to move on to actually fitted trousers. So yeah, they're the Yanta Overalls by Helen's Closet. I think they're really lovely um, and looking forward to having those. The next item of clothing is the Carolyn Pyjamas by Closet Core Patterns. Um, I really, really like these. They've got, a, it doesn't really show up on this picture, but they've got a piping detail um, and they just they just look really, really lovely. They're pyjamas that you could wear when you had guests I think because they just look really sophisticated and I really want to make the long versions of them and I'm not sure what material I'm going to make these in yet probably going to make them in just a plain material I actually like um the ones that are in the image um on the website which is like a blue looks like a cotton material with a white pipe and I think they look really sophisticated and I'd like to make those up and then also make another pair near a Christmas time with some lovely Christmas material that I've ordered from Pound a Metre. Um, I'll share it with you when it actually comes, but I ordered, I think it was one ninety nine a metre and it's a brushed cotton and it's got fa la la, -la, -la, -la on it um, in blue and white. Um, so I think that'd look really nice as well, but I'll share that with you when it comes. So the Carolyn pyjamas. The next one is the Pauline dress from and I cannot remember for the life of me who actually make the Pauline dress. Let me just check that. It's completely gone out of my mind. Oh, closet core patterns. So yeah, it's the same as the Carolyn pyjamas. So yeah, that, that's the next one that I really want to make. Um, this dress, and I'll insert a picture up, is absolutely beautiful there's some lovely versions on instagram i follow the hashtag um pauline dress on it on instagram it's got really lovely poofy sleeves which i really love it's got a square neckline which i think re is really really lovely and then in the back i'll insert a picture because this picture doesn't show it it's got a like a, a cut out keyhole um not keyhole it's like a big kind of i'm not explaining it very well i'll show you the picture and a little tie and I just think that's really really gorgeous and you can do a short version or a long version with or without sleeves so yeah I think that's really really gorgeous I've ordered from Sherwood Fabrics a Lady McElroy leopard print fabric I think it's a viscose which I'd love to make this in but it's probably quite a summery fabric, so it might be the short version that I make with that. Um, but again, when that comes, I'll show you show you that um, and my plans for it. But yeah, I just think this is a really lovely dress. I think it's probably 
quite a complicated dress to make. It's um, very fitted in the bodice area here and across the tummy. Um, so I know some people have said that on Instagram that they, they have changed that um, because some people don't like it highlighting their stomach. So I, maybe it's one I'll make a twirl of because um, obviously I don't want to ruin my Lady McElroy fabric and also if it if it's got um, you know a, a snug fit then I want to make sure I get that right so yeah that's a Pauline dress which is beautiful the next one um, which doesn't really need any introduction is the Ilford jacket um, really really love this Ilford jacket seen a lot of them on Instagram uh, Jess at so what if I sew has just recently finished one in a lovely wool fabric um, which like was um, a check and I think that looks really nice. I think I probably want to make it in like a denim, um, like a like either, I'm thinking like a lilac denim, denim or um, a green denim for like summer. And I really like the long, long version. But this jacket's really versatile. I think it's got like loads of different pocket options. It's got different length options. It's not lined. Um, so yeah, I think that's one that I really want to try um, and see how I get on with. Uh, not sure when I'm going to do that one because um, it's probably more of a summery jacket if I make it in those materials. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of a thing there. So there's three coats there on my Make 9 that I want to make. I'll probably be sick of them by the end of the year. Um, not sure what fabric other than the denim. I haven't got any denim in my stash and I've never sewn with denim. So that might prevent me from starting it soon. It might be one towards the end of the year. And then finally, I would like to get a pair of trousers done this year. Um, so I've chosen the Anna Allen um, Plumono pants, which again, inspired by Liz the Baker that sews, she made these and they, they look really comfy. They're elasticated waist. They um, just look really comfy. You can do it in a tapered leg or a wide leg and they look really comfy. They really, again, look really flattering. Pop it on with a frayer top or you could dress it up um i think that they would be a good introduction to a trouser um so yeah that's my make nine um i'm hopeful to get these done um i'm excited about a lot of them and i think that's the key about being excited about making them um obviously i want to make lots of other things along the way i've got other dresses and things that i want to do um so yeah that's kind of my plan and in respect of um new year's resolutions for sewing i really want to sew more of my stash over the last six seven months of me starting my sewing journey i have bought a lot of fabric because like a lot of people say sewing and fabric collecting are two completely separate hobbies <laughs> and i'm not sure which one i like more um so yeah i'm no different to everybody else i see fabric I say I'm not going to buy any more and then I buy it. Um, so I have bought some in the Boxing Day sales, which I'll share with you. But I really want to have a fabric ban for the next three months. I don't want to buy any more fabric till April. Next year, I am getting married. I'm going on holiday to um, Croatia for someone else's wedding. Um, so it's a big expensive year next year. So really need to be saving the pennies. So, um, I am not going to be buying any fabric between now and March. Fingers crossed I can stick to it. The only thing I'll be purchasing between now and March is patterns. That's all I'm allowing myself to buy. And the reason why I say March is because in March I get a bonus. So in March, I'm going to let myself have a little bit of my bonus towards fabric, but I'm going to set myself a budget. So yeah, this year I really want to, especially in the next three months, I want to be sewing my stash. I've got loads of lovely fabrics that I should just be using and um, coming up with plans for. I'm going to do a separate um, video with showing my stash. So look forward to that one. Um, other new year's resolutions that i've got around my fabric is i want to document my fabric and actually use either trello which is an app um, project management app to take photographs and categorize all of my fabric because i don't know about you it's very very easy to forget what you've got in your stash um and it's mine are in boxes in drawers scattered around the house so if i could have an app where i've got a photograph 
and you know details about that fabric and any ideas that I've got for it just to look at that would be really really good um, and hopefully help with me not buying any more fabric that I don't need so yeah that's another new year's resolution that I've got and then my third kind of new year's resolution really is to just make sure that I do something sewing related every day really even if it's just for 10 minutes even if that's just look researching a pattern cutting out printing out I want to try and make sewing a habit that I do on a daily basis um so yeah that's another one of my hobbies uh, sorry another one of my um new year's resolutions that I want to have um to try and ensure that I keep it as a hobby and I keep it as something that I like doing and enjoyable and I actually found over Christmas that I hadn't done anything sewing related for a couple of days and I started to feel a little bit irritable um, and I just decided to print off a pattern and, 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 and stick it together and I felt much better after doing that. I think it's about always moving forward and always having plans for me that is important. So yeah, they're my New Year's resolutions. So I hope you've enjoyed my um, vlog today. Sorry there wasn't many completed garments, but as you know, Christmas is, bit, is, is manic. Um, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, got some lovely gifts and got to, most importantly, got to spend some really nice family time with your loved ones and friends. And um, I look forward to sharing my um, next week's vlog on hashtag Friday Sews. Hopefully there'll be some completed garments there. Um, but if not, I should have some fabric to show you anyway. Um, so if you've enjoyed this vlog, please like and please um, subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, please let me know any comments that you have um, and any tips. I'd love to hear it. I try and reply to all of the comments. I really enjoy reading them. And I just like to have people that I can actually talk about sewing to that don't glaze over when I start talking about it. So yeah, that's all from me. Have a lovely new year, no matter what you're doing, and I'll see you all in 2022. Bye.